The traditional march on to hearts of oak and the line from it, come cheer up my lads, tis the glory we steer, seems particularly apposite tonight. He's had the role for 17 years and Lieutenant Commander Ken Mathers takes charge of the last run of a competition which has been part of the Royal Tournament since 1907. And the last 36 of some 15,000 men who've taken part in this trial of strength, verb, determination, sheer guts, prepare to give their all. The atmosphere is tingling, the tension palpable in the crowd as well as down there on the arena. Now come the two trainers to report they're ready. Petty Officer Mac McShane of the Fleet Air Arm, Chief Petty Officer Pat Patilla of Portsmouth. Each has had the run six times and they can hardly make themselves heard in the noise. The thunder flash is lit and they'll be off at the bang. First to the home wall, they round it and then everything has to come over the top of it. Neck and neck at the opening, and they go then forward to the home ramp, where a 28-foot spar is attached to sheer legs, and the first man will get across the 28-foot, supposedly bottomless pit. Up goes the spar with the sheer legs. Who's over first? It's Portsmouth's first to land the man. Now in goes the 10-foot spar on the enemy ramp. The wires are established, and here come the men and wheels on the traveller. The wheels, 120 pounds each. The gun carriage will be next, 350 pounds. And the heaviest part is still to come. Absolutely nothing in it at the moment. Here's the barrel, over 900 pounds. And down it goes into the carriage. Now the other wheels, they call them the speedy wheels because they're taken straight to the hole in the enemy wall and everything has to go through there. The limber last to arrive, that's just 345 pounds. The gun and the carriage going through and the free tower arm of gain time here. They're ahead of Portsmouth, they get to the enemy line where they have to fire three rounds. Limber must arrive there in time, everybody kneeling. Definitely the free tower arm just ahead. Had a moment to catch the breath before the run back. Empty cartridges away, and the thoughts of the men who inspired this race with the carrying of naval guns to help relieve Ladysmith from the Boers a century ago. Must be a million miles away. They came from HMS powerful and terrible. Well, who's feeling what now? And the times, 1 minute 25.66 for Portsmouth, 123.8 for the fleet air arm. They're up by 1.86 seconds, no penalty points. The bugler sounds retire, wait for the G notes. And it'll be over the enemy wall this time. And the fleet are on slightly increasing their lead. That's been a good wall for them, the enemy wall. First wheels are away. Limber follows them this time. Head down as the traveller comes in. Every man doing his job, and that's what is absolutely vital. Over now comes the barrel, and that'll be slung under the sheer legs to await the carriage. Portsmouth are catching up. They may even have gone slightly ahead. Here comes the carriage. Well, there's very, very little in it, but I still think Portsmouth have moved up a little bit. It's in under the gun. The last two wheels come, and now they wait for the man called the Flying Angel who comes with the 10-foot spar, and down will crash the sheer legs. They get to the gun, they've got to be all needing three more runs to fire. It's so, so close. And we're having the cracking final run that history demanded. Just the home run remains. Just how dare I? And they wait at the home wall through which everything this time must go. And Portsmouth have closed the gap. Six tenths of a second divides the two teams. They were faster on the run back, 59.81 to 1 minute 107. Still no penalty points. Everyone now poised for the last notes from bugler Jesse James, who will sound the ceasefire. 
And through the wall they go. And the gun is put together again. Away go Portsmouth, but Fleet have the slightly tighter turn, and I think they're going to do it. It's the accident across the line, and it does so now. It's over. They run down and wait for the official result. What a race. But as they come back, the crowd are on their feet. They're being given a wonderful reception. Well, the field gunners call for public support. And my heaven, they're certainly getting it. If the final night crowd is a fair judge, the popular vote demands that this race should live on. A youngster calls for more applause and it's enough to take grown men close to tears and the final running time is Portsmouth 2 minutes 46.68 seconds the feet are on 2 minutes 45.71 no seconds added for penalty points the fleet air arm have won the last run by 0.9 of a second and now to the presentation you see the battery commander in the arena and the first cup to be presented is the Interport Challenge Cup also known as the Points Cup and this year it has been won by Devonport